Well, hello. Hello from the Simon House. It's October 10th, uh, 2017, and I've got the iPhone cam on either Oscar or Reggie. Um, this is a, uh, this is a pupa, and guess what? It is still alive. Uh, George was uh, cleaning up stuff up out in the garden today, finally decided to dump that uh, other terrarium out and uh, kind of went through the dirt to see what was left of the other regal moth and this is what he found and it's intact. I mean it's it's heavy and it's moist and you know kind of you can just tell that it's still alive and it kind of bends a little bit and uh, uh, the light is terrible. I, I don't have a very good way to, to show you what it really looks like, but there's, you know, there's some some spiral lines on here. Kind of looks a little bit like the monarch pupa. Um, but you can see, you can see a little tip on the tail end there. I think this is the head up here. And uh, there's kind of two little dot type things on, uh, let's see if I can so this the two little sort of dots there and uh so i i think this weighs i this might weigh three or four ounces well maybe not a quarter pound but it might weigh it might weigh a couple ounces it's it's substantial and you know i mean it's not hollowed out it's not uh, it's not dried up, you know, it's not rotten, it doesn't smell, it's, <laughs> it's in pretty good shape. So I think what's going to happen is that this one will overwinter again, and uh, we can look for maybe this coming out next summer. I uh, went to the Caterpillar Lab website and got some instructions about how to keep this over the winter, not in dirt. Apparently I can just put it in a one quart container with some moist paper towels and stick it in the crisper <laughs> until next spring. And um, then we can bring it out, and uh, they gave pretty detailed instructions about what to do at that point. You know, you can put it in a bigger container filled with paper towels, and you can just kind of mist it, keep it moist until it decides to come out. And I think that's what I'm going to do. You can keep, they say you can keep it in the house, and so I've got a big container here I can use for that next spring, and I'm pretty excited. So... Wanted to give everybody that update. We did not have high hopes for what we were going to find in that. It was so dry. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, and the other one came out just fine this summer. He closed and uh, so it looks like we're, we may have another moth. And if we do, I'm going to take that one down to Ohio for sure. I'm going to take it south of here because um, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know if we ever told you. We we kind of checked in at Hawkfest at Lake Erie Metro Park Nature Center and asked if they ever saw a mate for the last moth we have we had hanging. We left there hanging with them in in the tree, hoping to attract a another moth. And uh, after a couple of days, I guess nothing had come, and so they let it go uh, down there. And uh, you know, they speculated like we did that it was. Uh, uh, you know, too far north of their range, and so we'll try taking this into Ohio, or maybe, um, maybe you know, if it comes out, if the timing's right, I might take it to Mothapalooza with me. So that'll be neat. But I wanted to give you that update. It's kind of a weird-looking organism, and of course, Leanna and Matt, when you come over next time, we'll get it out of the refrigerator. I'll show it to you. You can hold it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay. We'll talk to everybody later.